Hi there. Thank you for joining me today on Reading with Miss Jess. Today's story is called Inheritance, a Visual Poem. It's written by Elizabeth Acevedo, and art is by Andrea Pippins. Some people tell me to fix my hair, and by fix, they mean straighten. They mean whiten. But how do you fix this shipwrecked history of hair? The true meaning of stranded. When tresses hug tight like African cousins in ship bellies. Did our ancestors imagine that their great-grandchildren would look like us? and would try to escape them how we do? Finding ways to erase them out from our skin, to iron them out of our hair. This wild tangle of hair that strangles air. Some call them wild curls, but I call them breathing antecedents spiraling. Can't you see them in this wet hair that waves like hello? We're told Dominicans do the best hair. We can wash, set, flatten the spring in any lock. But what they mean is we are the best at swallowing amnesia in a cup of morir soñando, die dreaming, because it seems easier to do that than live in this reality. Caught between orange juice and milk, between reflections of the sun and whiteness. What they mean is, why would you date a black man? What they mean is, un prieto, cocolo. What they mean is, why would two oppressed people come together? It's two times the trouble. What they really mean is, have you thought of your daughter's hair? And I don't tell them that my love and I are like sugar cane, dark skinned, paler fleshed, meshed and pure sweetness, the children of children of fields. Our bodies curve into each other like an echo and I let my curtain of curls blanket us from the world. Our children will be beautiful, of dusk skin and brilliant eyes. Hair, a reclamation. Oh, how I will braid pride down their backs and from the moment they leave the womb. They will be born in love with themselves. Some people tell me to fix my hair, and so many words remain unspoken because all I can reply is, you can't fix what was never broken. <laughs>